This course is brought to you by AppyPy as part of our Academy series. As we come to the end of this course, I really want to emphasize the importance of practicing. So this course is an excellent start to make you a great copywriter, but you really have to keep practicing. And that's because practicing is the single way that you're actually going to take these lessons and internalize them and turn it into great copy. And you can practice with any form of writing where you're trying to make someone take an action. So even with most of your emails, practice some of these principles that you learn in this course and just keep trying to write copy in any way you can. And examples where you can practice copywriting are emails, your personal blog if you have one, or you can start one. And an example of an action you can have your reader take in your blog is sign up for an email list. And you can have a website. And if you have a website, you can practice your copywriting there. Or you can practice your copywriting if you're selling any type of product or even in conversation. So let's say you and a group of friends are deciding on which movie to go to. Try using a little bit of ADA. See if it works. Now, the most effective way to practice copywriting and this is actually recommended by almost all of the famous copywriters, is to use a pen and a paper and spend 10 minutes of day hand copying famous sales letters. And I know this sounds kind of crazy, but it really helps you internalize what good copy sounds like, and you'll subconsciously write better copy if you do this. And it only takes 10 minutes a day, so I'd highly recommend it. So in this course description, I'm going to include a Dropbox link with five famous sales letters that you can start copying right now.